वेलकम वंस अगेन इन ऑनलाइन क्लास आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर वेल एंड गुड एट योर होम टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी स्टॉक्योमेट्री एंड स्टॉक्योमेट्रिक कैलकुलेशन इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी स्टडी एम्पेरिकल फॉर्मूला फॉर मॉलिकुलर फॉर्मूला ऑफ एनी कंपाउंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी स्टॉक्योमेट्री एज वेल एज स्टॉक्योमेट्रिक कैलकुलेशन द वर्ड स्टॉक्योमेट्री is derived from two greek words stokion and mitron the word stokion means elements and mitrons means measurement stokiometry thus deals with the calculation of masses sometimes volumes of reactants or products involved in any chemical reaction so jo stoichiometry hai wo deal karti hai of calculation of masses of various reactants or products involved in any chemical reaction in another word we can say that the study of the quantitative study because is measure or calculate masses so the quantitative study of reactants required or products form is called stoichiometry okay so we can say that stoichiometry is the quantitative study of reactants required or product formed in a chemical reaction okay before understanding how to calculate the amount of reactants or product products formed in a chemical reaction let us take an balanced chemical equation for a given chemical reaction okay hum ek balanced chemical reaction equation ki help se kisi bhi given reaction ke liye uski help se usse hame kya information milti hai to sabse pehle hum wo samajhne ki koshish karenge let us take an example of methane gas reacts with oxygen to give carbon dioxide and water okay so here we have a balanced chemical equation in a balanced chemical equation number of atoms of each react uh, each uh, element is equal on both side either on reactant side either on product side so number of atoms of each elements is equal in this balanced chemical equation number of carbon number of hydrogen number of oxygen is equal that's why this is a balanced chemical equation in this balanced chemical equation the co uh, the coefficient for coefficient 2 for oxygen and water molecules are called stoichiometric stoichiometric coefficient stoichiometric coefficient so here the coefficient used for oxygen and the water molecule is 2 and this is called stoichiometric coefficient okay and the stoichiometric coefficient represent the number of moles of reactant required and the number of moles of product formed in a chemical reaction aur jo stoichiometric coefficient hai usse hame information milti hai ki kitne number of atoms required hai kisi chemical reaction mein kitne number of atoms of reactant required hai kisi chemical reaction mein aur kitne number of moles produced ho rahe hain form ho rahe hain kisi bhi chemical reaction mein as a product okay so here 
we can say that one mole of methane and two mole of oxygen react and give one mole of carbon dioxide and two mole of hydro uh, we can say water okay so here the uh, word gg and here also g or l represent state of these reactants or molecule in ki state ko represent karne ke liye within bracket hum kya use karte hain we use g s or l g for gases and s for solid and l for liquid so here we have two gases on the reactant side and one gas and one liquid on the product sides to is tarike se hum is kisi bhi chemical reaction ko represent karte hain jahan pe jo g z aur s ya l kahin pe agar word use ho raha hai that means wo us molecule ki state ko represent करता है ओके सो दिस इज स्टॉक्योमेट्रिक कैलकुलेशन एंड स्टॉक्योमेट्रिक यहां पे जो हम कैलकुलेशन कर रहे हैं कैलकुलेशन इन्वॉल्व इन एनी केमिकल रिएक्शन इज कॉल्ड ए स्टॉक्योमेट्रिक कैलकुलेशन हमें कैलकुलेशन किससे पता चला इस स्टॉक्योमेट्रिक कोफिशियंट के थ्रू कि 1 मोल ऑफ मीथेन एंड 2 मोल ऑफ ऑक्सीजन रिएक्ट्स एंड गिव 1 मोल ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड टू मोल्स ऑफ वाटर ओके सो द कैलकुलेशन इन्वॉल्व इन एनी केमिकल रिएक्शन इज कॉल्ड स्टॉक्योमेट्रिक कैलकुलेशन द क्वांटिटेटिव स्टडी ऑफ रिएक्टेंट्स रिक्वायर्ड एंड द प्रोडक्ट फॉर्म इज कॉल्ड स्टॉक्योमेट्री एंड द कोफिशिएंट यूज्ड इन एनी बैलेंस्ड केमिकल इक्वेशन इज कॉल्ड स्टॉक्योमेट्रिक कोफिशियन अगर कोई इक्वेशन आपने प्रीवियस क्लासेस में स्टडी किया है अगर कोई केमिकल रिएक्शन कोई केमिकल इक्वेशन अगर बैलेंस नहीं है अगर अनबैलेंस्ड है तो फर्स्ट ऑफ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी बैलेंस दैट वी नीड टू बैलेंस दैट पर्टिकुलर केमिकल रिएक्शन और इक्वेशन तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हम क्या करते हैं किसी भी अनबैलेंस्ड केमिकल इक्वेशन को बैलेंस्ड केमिकल इक्वेशन में कन्वर्ट करते हैं बाय द हेल्प ऑफ स्टोक्योमेट्रिक कोफिशन स्टोक्योमेट्रिक कोफिशन को हम मल्टीप्लाई और डिवाइड और बाय मींस ऑफ अरेंजिंग दिस स्टोक्योमेट्रिक कोफिशन हम किसी भी अनबैलेंस्ड केमिकल इक्वेशन को बैलेंस्ड केमिकल इक्वेशन में कन्वर्ट करते हैं देन इट गिव्स द एग्जैक्ट इंफॉर्मेशन ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर रिएक्शन कि दैट व्हिच व्हाट अमाउंट ऑफ रिएक्टेंट्स आर रिक्वायर्ड एंड व्हाट अमाउंट ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स आर फॉर्म इन एनी केमिकल reaction so this is the stoichiometry and the stoichiometric calculation for any chemical reaction okay now moving on the types of stoichiometric calculation as we know that calculation involved in any chemical reaction is called a stoichiometric calculation by stoichiometric calculation we can calculate the amount of reactants required or products formed in any chemical reaction for this we have some types of stoichiometric calculation the first one type involving mole mole relationship in mole mole relationship we have to find out the mole required mole of reactants required or mole of products formed in any chemical reaction as per problem okay so we have a problem how many moles of carbon dioxide is formed when 0.0 274 मोल ऑफ इथेनॉल इज बर्न्ड ओके सो वी हैव अ प्रॉब्लम नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द मोल ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज फॉर्मड और वी कैन से कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज ऑब्टेंड इन दिस केमिकल रिएक्शन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फॉर स्टॉक्योमेट्रिक कैलकुलेशन वी हैव टू राइट अ बैलेंस्ड केमिकल इक्वेशन फॉर अ गिवन रिएक्शन इन दिस रिएक्शन C2H5OS is reactant. It reacts with oxygen and gives 
carbon dioxide and the water as a product so first of all we have to balance this chemical equation here we balance oxygen by multiplying hydrogen uh, sorry water um, from right hand side water molecule and the oxygen in the left hand side by 3 okay and now we uh, multiply carbon dioxide by 2 so we introduce stoichiometric coefficient in this chemical reaction to balance this chemical equation in a balanced form okay so here number of atoms of each element is equal on both sides number of carbon is 2 number of hydrogen is 6 and number of oxygen as you see 7 number of oxygen and here also 7 so number of atoms of each element is balanced in a, in this balanced chemical equation okay now as you know we use uh, dimensional analysis method or we can say unitary method for solving this problem as we know that one mole of one mole of c2h5oh produce from this chemical equation we get 2 stoichiometric coefficient of carbon dioxide is 2 that means 2 moles of carbon dioxide is produced by 1 mole of c2h5oh produce 2 moles of carbon dioxide using unitary method so 0.274 it is given that 0.74 mole of ethanol c2h5os produce how much that means 2 over 1 into 0.274 mole of carbon dioxide so number of moles of carbon dioxide by multiplying this quantity 2 4 is 8 2 7 ja 14 and 2 2 are 4 and 1 6 we get 0.648 mole of carbon dioxide is obtained on when 0.274 mole of ethanol is burned okay so this is the problem involving more mole relationship and we have to find out the amount of reactant required or a products formed in any chemical reaction in this given problem we have to find out the amount or the moles of carbon dioxide obtained in this given chemical reaction so we obtain 0.648 mole of carbon dioxide carbon dioxide on burning 0.274 mole of ethanol okay so this so stoichiometric calculation by this stoichiometric calculation we can calculate the mole of that particular reactant or product in a given problem okay now the second type of stoichiometric calculation involving mass mass relationship so in this type of problem we have to find out mass of a given uh, substance either it is reactant or is product okay so we have a problem calculate the amount of water in gaseous form produced by the combustion of 16 gram of methane okay so for this problem first of all we have to write the balanced chemical equation okay so balanced chemical equation for this is ch4 plus 2O2 gives carbon dioxide and 2 moles of water. <coughs> so this is the balanced chemical equation. Here number of atoms of each element is equal on both sides. Okay. In the second step we have to write down the moles of reactants or products involved in this reaction. Here number of moles of methane is 1 <coughs> sorry number of moles of oxygen is 2 mole number of carbon dioxide obtained is 1 mole and number of water mo molecules are 2 moles okay and then in the third step 
we have to convert these number of moles into molar masses okay so on converting these number of moles into molar masses 2 into 32 gram and here 1 mole into 44 gram and here 2 into 18 gram what we get 16 gram of methane 64 gram of oxygen 44 gram of carbon dioxide and 36 gram of water okay so as per question the amount of water produced by the combustion of 16 gram of methane here 16 gram of methane from 16 gram of methane combustion of this methane we get 36 gram of water so here's the answer that combustion of 16 gram of methane produce 36 gram of water so by process, uh, uh, by this <coughs> calculation or the, by these uh, by following these steps we can calculate any uh, mass of any substance so is according to this question we calculate mass of water molecule okay so this is the second type of uh, calc stoichiometric calculation involving mass mass relations this is the third type of stoichiometric calculation involving mass mole relationship and we have given a problem how many moles of methane are required to produce 22 gram carbon dioxide after combustion okay so we have to find out moles of methane required for this first of all we have to write down the balanced chemical equation in between methane and oxygen combustion of oxygen we get ch4 plus 2o2 gives co2 plus 2 moles of water as in previous example we have to first of all write down the molar masses of respective substances 16 gram of methane and 64 gram of oxygen while reacting gives 44 gram of oxygen and 36 gram of water okay as you see in the previous example now we have to find out the moles of methanes for to produce 22 gram of carbon dioxide as from this balanced chemical equation one mole of methane gives one mole of carbon dioxide okay so moles of carbon dioxide are equals to 20 gram of carbon dioxide into one mole of carbon dioxide divided by 44 gram of carbon dioxide which is produced in this given chemical reaction so on cancelling 44 by 22 we get 2 and on dividing 1 by 2 we get 0 0.5 mole of carbon dioxide okay so 0 0.5 mole of methane is required to produce 22 gram of carbon dioxide after combustion because here one mole of methane is required to produce one mole of carbon dioxide so 0 0.5 mole of carbon dioxide is uh, is produced while when we have 0 0.5 mole of methane so the answer is 0 0.5 mole of methane is required okay so this is the stoichiometric calculation involving mass mole relationship okay by this stoichiometric calcul calculation you can solve given problem based on mass mass relationship mole mole relationship and mass mole relationship so that's all for today. I will meet you in my next class. Thank you.